at the start of Clifftown, what you want to do is turn around completely because there will be a chest in the starting area that you might miss if you don't know. And these enemies here that have kind of like this metal coat type thing on them, you need to charge to kill them. Next thing you want to do is head around the perimeter of the starting area because there's some gems that are kind of hidden around there. From there, you're just going to cross the bridge and just scout out the whole land on the ground. Make sure you check all the corners and around the pillars and stuff. Now the big cook lady, you just want to walk up to her and burn her. And also make sure, make sure to burn every single pot that you see because some of those actually give you a gem back. In fact, all of them might. I'm not quite sure about that. Other than that, just check around everywhere to make sure you get everything. Once you're done with that, you want to cross the bridge to the next area, and this is where you're going to find the thief. All you need to do is just chase him around. He's going to go in one big circle and try to cut him off and turn the corners as hard as you possibly can, and eventually you'll be able to just cut him off and kill him. Now, of course, right here as well, after you're done killing the thief, or before, it honestly doesn't matter, you'll also find your first dragon. From there, you're just going to wipe out the rest of the enemies and search the corners and stuff, get up on the platforms to get the gems that you can get right now in the immediate area. And then after that is when you want to actually head up and start making your way to the top. And if you don't pay attention like me, make sure you do double check everywhere because you can see here, I just missed a platform. One chest chilling up there that I just didn't get. And that's one thing that could stop you from 100%. You want to also make sure that you check all the little crevices, I don't know what you want to call them, basically all the little uh, holes in the building that you see here, they scale all the way across this map. You'll find a life there, you'll find some chests here, and then even further down you'll find a couple more gems. Once you head up to the top and get the dragon, making sure to light all of the pots on the way up, you want to glide all the way over to this other area here, and from this point, everything is going to be pretty much a part of this area. So you want to walk around, make sure you collect all the gems, and kill the condors, and they're going to drop a gem as well. And make sure you kind of double check, because there's a couple times you'll see in this video where I thought I cleared out every gem, and I had to turn back, and there was like two that were left straggling. So make sure you give it a double check.
Now after you get the last dragon and you've checked for all the straggling gems, you want to jump down to this platform to pick up those, head back up this little teleporter type thing to get back up on the cliff, and from there you want to glide forward to the uh, platform where it was too high to reach before, you'll see two chests over there. After that, you want to head back up again, turn left slightly, and you'll see another platform that was also too high to get. You can glide over there and get those chests. Now, you may have noticed along the way there was a metal chest that we needed a key or some sort to unlock. What you want to do is use this glider to get up here on this platform and glide all the way over to this little firework you see light it on fire and what that's going to do is basically explode the metal chest then you can go over there and pick up those gems and the remaining gems are going to be the most tricky part that a lot of people probably have problem with you're going to want to dash all the way over here don't hit the force field like me and glide all the way back to the beginning area but you don't want to go to the window or the door you want to go behind it because there's another ledge back here with some chest and some gems <laughs> 